are going to do a workout in the park, 15 to 20 minutes long. Get out of the house and get some fresh air with all the family and friends visiting. Sometimes the house can get a little crazy. So I created a park workout for you guys today and all you need is a bench. Um, our park has something like kind of strange. It's just a giant block. I don't even know if it's really a bench, but whatever. It works just the same. And yeah, so that's all you need. And this will be a nice full body circuit. Get you out of the house and away from relatives for a minute if you need. Let's get going. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start with some mountain climbers at an incline on the bench. So those knees are gonna come straight up, driving towards your chest. And you're going to do these for 30 seconds. All right, I call these the crab shuffle. So each arm is going to move with the same leg on the same side, um, moving back and forth, side to side, shuffling down the bench. And it is kind of a strange movement. So if you feel uncoordinated, just keep trying. It is an awkward movement at first, but once you find your rhythm, then you're good to go. So you're gonna do these for 30 seconds as well and keep that core nice and engaged the whole time. All right, and moving into incline push-ups. So do as many as you can here. Um, try to go for 30 seconds straight and see how many you can do and record how many you did and see if you can beat it next week. I'm looking around for Lulu here. <laughs> but yeah, 30 seconds and take a break when you need it. All right, and moving into step ups with a kickback. So you're gonna alternate which leg that you're stepping up onto. And once you're on top of that bench, you're gonna do a nice kickback, straight back with that leg and getting a good glute squeeze and back down and stepping up on the alternate leg. So you're going to shoot for 30 to 45 seconds on these. And try to keep that core engaged. And if you aren't sure how to keep that core engaged, think about what you would do if you knew somebody was going to, you know, punch you in your stomach. Um, you would make it nice and tight. And that's what you're going for here as well. All right, guys, and moving on to tricep dips. So again, those elbows are gonna stay in as much as possible. They are gonna go out a little bit, um, but you just don't wanna overextend it and hurt your elbow or tear something. And make sure all that weight is focused on the back of your arms and that you're not pushing up with your legs. Moving on to slow rise. So you're gonna be sitting near the edge of the bench and those legs are gonna go down slowly and lifting back up. You're gonna do a counting as in up at the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up. And shoot for 30 seconds on these guys. All right, and moving on to bicycles. You guys know how to do these. You are going to lean back on that bench and go ahead and move those legs like a bicycle, keeping that core nice and tight and your movement nice and fluid and controlled. Get a nice burn with doing 30 to 45 seconds on these. All right, guys, and finishing it off with 10 jumping jacks, and then you're gonna go ahead and do a fast toe touch up to that bench. This one's a little higher than most park benches, so it's a little awkward, but you guys get the idea. You're gonna do a fast toe touch, and you're gonna do that for 10 seconds, and you're gonna repeat this entire circuit three to four times. Mm -hmm. 